interesting piece Ezra Klein wrote over at uh, where'd this come from, Shane? Oh, Vox. That's right. That's his new his new gig, Vox, um, about how uh, Bernie Sanders' rise is even more important than Donald Trump's, and the reason why is because Donald Trump. In fact, uh, last night on MSNBC, I, I I I got home from doing the TV show, walked you know, walked aboard the boat, and there's Louise watching the 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 TV in the they call them saloons in a boat, the living room, and uh, it's Donald Trump. And I said, Are "You watching Fox again?" And she's like, "No, it's MSNBC." And so I sat down and I watched Donald Trump for like ten or fifteen minutes, nonstop, no commentary, nothing. And I watched him say he was going to have a 35% tariff and everything else and all this kind of stuff. And then uh, there was, uh, then, then uh, Chris, uh, what's his name, uh, brought on a commentator, Chris, Chris Hayes, brought on a commentator, and they discussed Donald Trump. And then they went to a break, and they came back from the break. And by the way, at the same time Donald Trump was speaking, Bernie Sanders was speaking to a huge crowd, 6,000 people overflow, several thousand and they showed Bernie speaking, and they spoke about him for three or four minutes, and then they moved on. But one of the, what the, the, the comment that the commentator made to Chris Hayes, which I thought was like, this is almost, you're getting right up to the edge here of saying the emperor has no clothes. You know, this guy walking down the street is naked. Is He said words to the effect of, you know, the question was, why the Trump phenomenon? And he said, well, Trump is a is a star, so the media has to cover him. The media covering him increases his stardom, which means that the media has to cover him even more. Now, if we were talking about entertainment media, I would agree. But we're talking about news. And news is not supposed to follow stars. News is supposed to follow events, issues. Things we need to know. But we no longer have news in the United States, with the exception of Amy Goodman on Democracy Now! And so, you know, that's, that's what you get.